Yes, a little. Okay. Uh, so I'll slow down and I and, and ask him. He knows what's in your brain. He knows how you're thinking. Ask him what are you doing. You're what's making you phase. Ask him what's making it phase in and out. And just whatever comes to your mind. Really listen. What's making it phase in and out, Nick? It's your capacity to reason ah. as to what you're seeing and believing at the same time. So do you think that you don't believe what you're seeing? <laughs> Good. Um, What's the, okay. Yes. <laughs> it just uh, release. Okay. Yes, uh, it's so true. Okay, what are you going to show me? Oh, cool. Let's just see whatever it shows you. Go with, it, go with whatever. Just go with it. Yeah, just go with it. Okay. No stress. It's like a... I have flashes of a globe glass in sphere uh -huh. um, still snowy ask him what year it is Nick what year is this Twenty seventy two. that's what came to my mind 2072 uh, are you still alive from being alive in uh, 2016 or have you taken on a new body? New Ask, body. A new body? Cool. Ask him, are, is this fifth dimensional earth? Ariel. I'm sorry. I, Ariel just popped into my brain. Oh, okay. Where's Ariel at? Is she behind you? Yeah. Yeah. Say, so what's going on, Ariel? Just ask her. Maybe Ariel, she'll. What's going on? I don't know if it's a male or female. Maybe they'll manifest. It's a female. Oh. Say, welcome, Ariel. Show yourself, please. Show yourself, please. Oh, look around here. Uh, black cat. Um, black coat. White mittens. Oh, good. Uh, black boots. Ask her who is she? Who are she, you? Who is she related to? How is she related or connected? Just passing by. Oh, good. Ask her what year it is, please. Area, what year is it? is what I get. Oh, okay. Ask her, does she know Hank? Do you know Hank? Yes, of course I know Hank. Why did she say of, why did she say, <laughs> Why did she say of course? Seriously. Why do you say of course? Because Hank is well known. Well known for what? Well known for what? For being big as life? Uh, <laughs> it just, it just it gets me funny. It's funny. Oh. 
Ask her what dimension are we in? Fifth. Oh, good. That came rather quickly. How old are you? How old are you? How old am I or how old yes, is she? Yes, yes. How old are you? How old am I? 25. Cool. Uh, when she says she's just dropping by, is she just dropping by because she knows that you're there visiting the fifth dimension from 2016? Yes. Oh, awesome. Ask her, where is Hank right now? Where is Hank? To your left. Oh, look to the left and see if I'm standing there. I feel energy to my left. What do I look like? What do I, You just feel me? Can't see yes. me? Big and white. Go. Oh. Say, hey, Hank. Hey, Hank. <laughs> And ask him, ask me, can I help you, help you, uh, you know, really uh, get into this scene so you, you can be more connected? Okay, can you help me in this scene so I can get more connected? Yes. Oh, good, good. Tell him my, uh, tell him my 3D body in 2016. Well, he probably already knows that. Yes. Cool. For anyone who happens to hear this, we're practicing. We're practicing uh, traveling through the dimensions. And this is a very impromptu session that we're doing here. Uh, we're not trying to get answers about the universe or anything like that. We're just getting Gary acclimated. So now he's in the fifth dimension. It's in 2072. He's in another life. Uh, it's fifth dimensional earth and he's speaking to me and I am an energy entity in or I don't have any form Cool No, uh, you were just uh, really warm and uh, I could feel the heat coming off of you like loving heat <laughs> uh, Yeah Good about Almost area. like the sun almost like the sun, you know, okay. Uh, I've heard that before what about Ariel? She's still there too? Yeah. And where did Nicholas go? He's got to be around there somewhere. He's just hanging out. Oh, okay. So ask Hank, uh, can he give us any information about uh, the, your last, your life as an uh, Earthling when you were in 3D before you shifted? Hank, can you give us any information about me as a uh... Earthling before I shift it. You were once <laughs> I want to say so you were once unafraid. And then you are of, one of, of, of traveling through dimensions. And now you're good at it, huh? Yeah, now you're doing much better. When did you start getting better? In that year 2016, did you start getting better after this trip here? Oh, you're doing good now? Yes. Cool. Well, ask him, can I ask him some questions about me? Ask, you might ask him some questions about me. Hank, can I ask about you? Yes. Well, you know, I, uh, I like trying to break all the rules and, and, and get answers and stuff like that. Can you give me up, give up a little bit tonight? A few, just a few answers? Only if you want. Oh, okay, cool. I absolutely do want. So, 
what I wanted for Gary was for him to see fifth dimensional earth. And so now he's in another body and I just wanted him to see some technology. Could you show him a phone or a television or any type of technology that's in 2072? Just a few things so he can get an idea of what it looks like. Sure. So what are you going to show him first? Looks first thing I seen was a table with three dimensional images like uh like hologram images on top of it, like like a chessboard but uh images shooting out from underneath it and playing out in like three dimensional form. Oh, awesome. Um, that was kind of neat, really. Wow. Cool. Uh, uh, white white uh, sofas and everything to sit on. Those are nice. Curved differently, too. Um, ergonomically better for your back. Oh, good. Awesome. What about some transportation vehicles? What do the transportation vehicles look like in 2072 and fifth dimensional futuristic Earth? Looks just like the hovercraft like you were talking about. Um, oh, good. Everything is white and clean and uh, ergonomically fitting. Uh, the car-like uh, thing has a shield over it, um, and you can. Oh, I'm inside now. Okay. Um, yeah, you can program it to take you where you want to go, uh, and it'll take you there. Um, it's got um, the uh, uh, like the moon roof, but it's like it's all glass over the top, and you could it'll tint auto, you know, like automatically if you wanted to, and. Um, uh, it's quiet. Sweet. Uh, and uh, no clunkiness or anything to it. Uh, and it feels like red in the cloud. <laughs> Super cool. What in, what type of uh, energy source does it have? What what propels it? I want to say nuclear, uh, but not in the sense that we have it here. Okay. Um. I see like a blue glow uh, compartment or something like that. See, that's the best part about when you get into these, these areas like this, you can always ask Kane. Just ask him. See what he says. He knows. Instead of yeah. trying to guess, just ask him. Every time. Uh -huh. What does he say? Oh, about the blue glow? No, just about the energy source. Because you, as, oh, as, as a... Yeah, yeah. Okay, because remember, we're just practicing. So, uh, you know, so whenever I get you in these type of scenarios, I know you're you're pulling it up from your memory, which is great. But if there's an entity there, like myself, just go ahead and ask them and see what they say. Then you don't have to hey, think so hard. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's ask really the person who's there. There you go. What do I say? Wow. What what's the energy source of this? I'm hearing thought in my mind, but Yeah, I'm not hearing anything from you. Okay, cool. So tell them thank you. Just thank me Thanks. for for showing you that much. Cause that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty neat. Ask them when did all the wars stop completely on the planet Earth? What time after 2016 did it just stop? That's a good question. Is he allowed to tell? <laughs> I got no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how I am. He knows how I am. Come on, Hank. Give me a bone, dude. 
Tell him, please, just a hint. Okay, ask him is it is within the next three years. He doesn't have to say when. It's 2016 now at the end of the year. Is it within the three years? No more wars. No, no. Um, that's not really telling us. Not really. I'm not really. I'm not really kidding. Um, <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, oh, here's a good question. This is a question about me. After the shift happened, did I stay on the planet for a while or did I go s straight to 7D? I mean, a complete shift. Oh, and the complete shift, where did he, where did he go? Where did he go? Ask me, where did he go? Where did he go? Yes. You can't tell either. Yeah, I'm a sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that I would Sorry, ask, that's <laughs> ask, ask him, say, you know I would ask that question, right? Uh he knows. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's a it good just... question ask question. Can you ask him what happened to the videotape, the video that I sent to Los Angeles? Where we went to 2050. How? He said confiscate it? Oh my goodness. By whom? That's the uh, FBI is what I got. That's the thing that popped in my brain. Confiscated FBI. Do they want me to stop doing what I'm doing? Is the FBI or do you? No, the FBI. Do they want me to stop doing what I'm doing? I don't want to tell you the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Okay, so what about extraterrestrials? When do I first? When does Hank actually make first contact? And uh, Gary with extraterrestrials? Can he tell me that? Besides every night in my dreams, I'm talking about in physicality. He knows what I'm talking about. Can't tell you that either, huh? Nah, uh, I think. <laughs> I think I've lost the connection there, Hank. Oh, uh, he's still there. I know I am. You don't feel that? Yeah, here? just you're suffering around. He's just uh, <laughs> he makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? He's like, I'm not telling, is he? <laughs> I don't know. Just making me laugh. Uh, it's just too funny. Oh, oh man. It just okay. makes me laugh. Okay, but he did show you the future. That's what we were here for, to look at the future, right? Yes, yes. Cool. And, and uh, just ask, is, see if, is his presence still there? I'm not going to ask any more questions, I promise. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay. I see blue. Yeah, I'm part of those blue beings. Am I a part of those blue beings? You've already told me that before. Which ones? Can, uh -huh. you, can you name them then? Just for continuity. The blue orbs? Oh, yes. Do I look like a blue orb when you look at me? I'm seeing blue. Okay. Right about here. Okay, I'm not going to ask any questions, but this is what I am going to do. Can he say, tell me anything that would help me and anyone who possibly would hear this uh, video? about the future of the earth and 20 beyond you know into the fifth dimension into the shift whatever he could share that will be in the best interest of everyone love one another feel the love Embrace the future. 
Beautiful, beautiful. So one more, okay. So what if if the if the uh, if the piece that I that the, if the session that I sent my client was confiscated by the FBI? Well, Will this next time that I send it, will it make it to them? Or will that be confiscated as well? Well, it will. It will? That's what I'm getting. It will. Okay. Oh well. <sighs> Tell him I said thanks, and I love him. Of course. Thanks. I love him. <laughs> now you see how you've heard my sessions before. I go into these sessions. I'm normally asking everyone about what's going on. Now I'm actually have an opportunity to talk to my higher dimensional self in 2072, and he's just like everyone else, not giving up too much at all so it's what's meant to be known as they'll let you know and what's not meant to be known you will know but in these scenarios remember you if you start thinking and you're trying to figure it out like it's going to come to you just ask whoever's there because in this case you say it's me and what about nicholas where's uh -huh. nicholas at right now i sensed him over here okay and what about uh adrian Adri what's her name Ariel, Adriana. Oh, it's okay. Let's not worry about uh, it. Let's God, drift God. and float away from the scene. We're drifting and floating away from the scene with much love and thanks for all thanks, the information guys. we were able to ascertain. We want to thank Nicholas and Ariel and Hank for all of the information. And uh, we're very blessed. We're just doing this because Gary and I are practicing. I want him to see what it feels like when he's induced and how to traverse the dimensions and everything like that. We may even post this. So uh, we're already ready for all the haters who are going to say, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, you can talk until your face is blue. I am going to continue to do this. And so, at one point, Gary's going to be so good at this, I'll be letting him loose and saying, okay, Gary, it's time for you to just go channel. You don't need me. And I'll be uh, probably, who knows, we may have shifted by then. But we got hover cars and... Uh, Three-dimensional television and technology, purity, cleanliness, no wars. It's coming, you guys. The future is ours. And if we start loving each other and respecting each other, quit judging each other and trying to, uh, you know, point out everyone else's flaws and how, you know, and trying to be control freaks over everyone, we will find ourselves in the most loving place in real time. And for this, we are very grateful. And as you are drifting and floating, floating and drifting away from the scene, and, and I want you to, I'm asking all the subconsciousness Subconscious to receive to where it belongs <laughs> with much love. Sorry, and I took I just took a dive down into the near the water and I was just flying really fast over the water. Sorry. Oh, that awesome! <laughs> that was so fun. Say that again. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, so fun. So when I was saying you're drifting and floating away, you started flying real fast. Uh -huh, I flew real fast down near the water and I was touching touching the water and going over it. It was a lot of fun. Oh, awesome. So where'd the water come from? So you're back where, uh, okay, just... Just water, just uh, like the ocean, uh, somewhere. Are you still flying? Cool. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh, like kind of like Peter Pan. Mm. How does that feel? Does anyone fly with you? got blue jeans on and... And uh, no shirt. 
Oh. Yeah. What color are you? Are you Caucasian? I'm, yeah, I'm Caucasian. I'm like okay. Really young. Awesome. And it's just water everywhere? Yeah. I thought we were going to drift and float away to the scene back to consciousness, but uh, since you're flying over the water, <laughs> let's just... Well, I just decided to fly over the water just for fun. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Yeah. So while you're yeah. still induced, how does it feel to be in this altered state? It's nice. It's uh, very relaxing and uh, uh, very calming. And uh, it's just a wonderful state. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, and whenever I make a suggestion, things just sort of just appear right out of nowhere, right? Yeah, uh, for me, uh, yeah, they appear. And then sometimes more things appear uh, soon after that. Like whenever I seen uh, the snow and, uh, and, the, and the cabin, and then I see Nicholas on the bike, and and then he tipped over, and I got laughed about that. But then he brushed himself off, and he came over and talked, and and then uh, and then when we went to the future, and then uh, uh, I think it was Ariel, uh, uh, that was the woman there. Yes, uh, that's her name. Uh, and then uh, the other woman that I think was my wife there. Um, you know, she was just laying down, you know, making the presence and then, and then from there over to uh, the car, well, the hovercraft, whatever, and then I got in that, and then, and then back from that to, before that was uh, the table of the 3D stuff and the couch ergonomically and all that, so, uh, that's just a small recap of where I just sat. And, but the, the, what I love about the recap is, is, you know, like I said, you let your imagination run away from you and you relax and just try not to question anything and just let it flow. And before you know it, you're totally consumed into the scene. And now as entities come forward, you can literally communicate with them because I said, was Hank there? And they're like, yeah, he's over there. And then, wow, you're talking to me. I'm blue. First, I was just light, but I was there. I and you know, uh -huh. I showed you things, and and I, and that's what when I start asking you, do you notice? Then you start thinking. You start trying to think uh -huh. and trying to remember, but you have to remember because you're in the session. You're there in real uh -huh. time, and so you're thinking you should know this. But that's why I always uh -huh. say, don't try and think about it yourself. Go ahead and ask whomever is there. And uh, are you still flying nice. over the water? I can be. Okay. It's it's nice. Uh, <laughs> and I'm up near a cloud, just kind of hanging out, uh, looking down. Uh, What's below you? Kind of seeing the scene. Okay. Uh, you know, earlier I seen uh, I seen part of the beach. You know, the beach that I used to visit, and uh, in previous sessions, and uh, oh wow, I'm seeing that big mountain again. Uh, Back at the stream again, real fast. Oh, good. <laughs> really good. jump at the places. Uh, How about that ship with... Uh, oh, the big uh, barge-looking ship, or... No, uh, the ship where the... Uh, where the oh, oh, that ship, yeah. The silvery dish ship that I uh, flew up to and then uh, connected to and then got inside and then there's the black uh, marble tile on the, on the floor. You seeing all that uh, now? Uh-huh. And then remember yeah. your children? Uh, yeah, that's the one where my children was, was at. Um, and what's your guy's name? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, yeah, they, just, they just came up and gave me a hug. Oh, good, good, good. It was nice. Very nice. Uh, I'm, wearing, like, I'm wearing like all black now. And, uh, kind of a leathery thing, but uh, anyway. And this is how you are when you're fifth dimensional. Our vibration will rise to where we will be able to literally transport ourselves around the entire universe. 
And the higher our vibration becomes, the more comfortable we become. This is what we are and who we are before we physically manifest on the earth. Coming to the earth is just a temporary excursion to, to live, to have a real-time feel of the opposite of our connection, or of our unity. Is that pretty much you getting to understand that? Yeah. Uh, I'm just telling my kids to mind their mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm blabbering off, and you're just I know, enjoying I know. yourself. We're having a conversation while you're having a conversation with me. It's funny. Well, okay, this is yeah. good. I'm also talking to um because I'm recording this. Uh, I started at one point. I was like, you know what? We can make this an instructional video because I always tell people take the my sessions, the ones where I say transcribe them, and. Uh, Practice with your friends and with people you love and you know, you have a desire to make a stronger connection So I'm practicing with you and uh, We'll look with the success that you're having. Well, are you still talking to your kids or what are you doing now? No, I'm just I'm back down uh, flying again just for fun. Okay Let's see where else could you possibly go? you uh Hey, do no. you how about did we ever talk about those underground underwater bases in the Atlantic Ocean? Uh, well, you don't want to go there, do you? Uh, not me. I was. Uh, you're the one who's there, which you're flying around. I was, <laughs> I was just, no, I was just like, I could see fresh and like, you don't want to go there, do you? <laughs> I mean, you said it. Does that sound too scary? Like, a, like it's a scary place or something. Uh, no, uh, they won't see you. You can go no, invisible. No, I, I would. No, I went down there, and, and uh, it's, it's all, um, it's all oh, steel and glass, and, um, cold. You said, you said it's, and, oh, steel and glass and cold? Yeah, and, um, any entities, yeah, any entities I'm left? Gonna there. Sorry. I apologize. You're I'm doing... <sighs> okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm you back s- okay, you said you had to leave that place, huh? Yes. Did you feel like you weren't uh, welcome there? Understood. Yes. Understood. And did it feel like there were humans there or maybe something else? Yes, both. Okay. And you know, it was really interesting when you got really close, all of a sudden our communication here started really breaking up before you had an opportunity to talk. Dampeners. They have dampeners to keep them hidden. Oh, very good. You okay? Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to level back out. Oh, so what? you felt that field of going there, huh? And take a long, yeah. slow, deep breath. Inhale deeply. And feel the relaxation moving through your body. And I want you to go to that white room. Imagine yourself in the white room. And there's that shower of white light. And I want you to stand under it. And instantly as you stand under it, that this relaxation is moving through you. You're harmonizing back to a very nice, a very nice... Relief and embrace the relief. That was great. Oh, very good. Very good. And just let it keep running over your body from head to toe. And feel your energetic body. Your chakras are all spinning at the proper rate. Your aura is shining. You're being recharged. Very good. So, can you recall how it felt? Because you went there pretty quickly, huh? Yeah. Don't go there again. Don't go there again. Okay. Don't don't go there again because the last time you went, remember what happened. Yeah. So, you said it felt like there's a dampener. Is that like when your vibration got close to it, it just get back under the shower again. Stay under the shower. There you go. So, 
I uh, I want you to remember that feeling. I think I'll wait till I bring you totally out of this before we talk about it. I think that'll be better, correct? Because I don't want you to yes. start thinking about it and then all of a sudden be there again. So remember the chair and remember the window and remember the door. Mm -hmm. Remember the concrete slab and the purple flowers and the yellow flowers. You're coming down in the hovercraft. You're no longer flying. You're stepping out of the hovercraft. And I want you to just go ahead and sit in the chair and take a long, slow, deep breath through your nose. Inhale deeply and slowly release and feel the relaxation move through your body. Ah, oh, very nicely. And 